Friends, I have a bit of a problem here on the homestead today. I have a couple hawks, red-tailed hawks, that are hunting my chickens. And today, I want to talk about the five things that I've come up with to keep your chickens safe from aerial predators. Uh, I'm going to do another video here shortly where I'll talk about some of the other forms of predation. But right now, we're just going to talk about aerial predators. It's very common and often difficult to deal with. So when I walked out to the chicken coop the other day, I was shocked to see two red tail hawks calmly stalking one of my Rhode Island reds. And when the hawks spotted me, they flew off to the trees around the meadow and they have been returning and scouting and keeping a close eye on the chickens in the days since then. Now, I love nature and I love to watch the hawks work the area for mice, snakes, rabbits, you know, anything that they would normally get out there in the meadow. But as a backyard chicken owner, I don't want my birds to be terrorized by a predator, especially not a raptor from the skies. So I've been doing some research on how to protect chickens from red-tailed hawks. And red-tailed hawks, if you don't know, is one of the three species in the United States known as a chicken hawk. The other two are sharp-shinned hawks and cooper's hawks. I did my research. I came up with five things that I can do or we could all do to protect our bird from hawks. If you have any other ideas, please let me know in the comments and be sure to like, share, and subscribe so we can continue to build an awesome community of like-minded people. Now, the reality of my situation is that my chickens free range during the day, all day. And I live right next to the woods, I live on some acreage, and we do have nesting hawks. It is illegal to kill birds of prey, and I would never want to do that. So here are my top five ways that I have learned how to protect chickens from hawks and other aerial predators. First and foremost, roosters make great hen protectors. Hens are always pretty good at protecting themselves, at least mine have been uh, through the last year, but adding a rooster steps up the protection. Roosters constantly scan the skies for flying predators. Uh, if he sees something, he will quickly let out an alarm call and gather the hens in a protected area then walk back and forth keeping them all flocked together at least until the danger has passed i know not every rooster is great at protecting his flock but if you find a good one i recommend that you keep them this is highly desirable rooster behavior number two is get a watchdog now not all dogs are great around chickens but i believe that most dogs can be trained and taught to behave themselves when they're around chickens. And a dog is a great way to protect your chickens from predators, not only aerial predators, but all predators, because predators naturally fear dogs. If your dog is out all the time, that's okay. If you let your dog in and out of the house, you may wanna do it at various times throughout the day. That way the predators don't catch on to the schedule. And if they don't know what the schedule is, they're gonna be a little bit more cautious. We're going old school here, make a scarecrow or hang some shiny objects around the the chicken yard you know you can put your halloween scarecrows to good use year round by mounting them around the chicken yard around the farmyard just make sure to move it every couple of days so that the hawks don't figure out what you are up to i have not tried this yet but another person wrote to me and said that you can hang pie pans around in the trees uh birds especially hawks, they don't like shiny things that move unnaturally in their environment. Predator versus predator. Hawks don't like owls and vice versa. So head to your local farm supply store and pick up a fake owl. You can mount them around your chicken yard and most likely the hawks will scatter. Just make sure again, like the scarecrow, you move it around to get the full effect. And finally, plant for cover. When chickens spot an aerial predator, they need a place to hide. Our chicken coop is well protected by overhead trees. In addition, I have lots of trees and shrubs and things that they can get under to protect themselves from aerial predators. One of their favorite things to hang out under are the pine trees down by the pond. And like I said, unfortunately, aerial predators are not the only predators you have to worry about. In future videos, I'll discuss how to tackle some of the, the four-legged predators that we all have to deal with. Do raccoons eat chickens? Yes, they do. Uh, it's important to learn how to raccoon-proof your coop and run. 
Foxes love chickens. Coyotes love chickens. Telltale signs that you've got birds missing and what's remaining of your flock is panic stricken. Don't put your birds through that stress. Let's talk about it. We'll get it done. The good news is that you can subscribe right now and we together will learn how to keep the foxes out of the hen house and other predators like coyotes, skunks, dogs, weasels, and more. That is it for me. Thanks for sticking around and I'll catch you next time. Before we take off today, here's a reminder to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps small time content creators like myself in so many ways. Support my sponsors by visiting the links in the description. I've included links to any products mentioned or used. My artwork and other creative projects are available at robshop.com. That is R-O-B-B-S-H-O-P-P.com. And remember friends, there are no ordinary days. Make this one outstanding. Do something excellent for yourself and for someone else. I am out.